Our second part of today is going to be a new lesson in our notes packet. So right now on your desk, you need to have out your blue notes packet and you need to open it up to page 12. We're going to revisit this question and you saw this as a group earlier in the class today. So I'm going to ask you um, just to kind of think about how your group actually approached this question and what you did. So hopefully you took the $13 in total and you subtracted off the $7, which were my chocolate and my marshmallows. That left me with $6. That got me two boxes of graham crackers. So my guess is that you probably went ahead divided by two and you were able to figure out that each box of graham crackers is gonna cost $3. So what I want you to realize today is that your first step was a subtraction step and your second step was a division step, which is what we've been doing all along when we've actually been solving these two-step equations. We undo addition or subtraction first, and then we undo multiplication or division. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. At the top of page 12, we have 3.7 word problems with two-step equations. You should have your pencil ready, you should have your calculator on your desk, and you should also have your notes packet open to page 12. Do you have all those things ready right now? For example number one, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, and I'm gonna ask you to mark up your word problem as you go. Please pause the video as you need to so that you can kind of keep up with this and make sure you have everything recorded in your notes packet. Be prepared for Mrs. Grabner to check your notes packet to make sure it was filled in properly. Example one, for a field trip, we have four students riding in a van and the rest filled up nine buses. How many students were in each bus if 472 students were on the trip? When we do two-step word problems, we're gonna be looking for two things that are gonna get added or subtracted, and then we're gonna be looking for what I call an equals number. One of these pieces is going to get an X, so, and one of them is gonna be just a plain old number. So my plain old number here are the four students who rode in the van. They are part of our group, but they're not riding in a bus, and we know that in the van there's only four of them. The rest of the students filled up nine buses, but how many students went on each bus? We don't really know. So we're gonna go ahead and put the X with the number nine because nine buses times X students on there. So X is gonna represent students per bus. So we have four students in the van and, which is telling us to add the nine X. How many students were in each bus if 470 students were, 72 students were on the trip? This is our equals number here. So right now we have in our equation 4 plus 9x equals 472. We can solve this two-step equation. We have the 4 is here. It is a positive 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. That's leaving me 9x, it's positive, I don't need to write that, equals 468. My next step is gonna be to go ahead and divide by nine, because nine times x, so to undo that, I divide on both sides. Getting x is equal to 52, and don't forget, x represents students per bus, so that means I have 52 students per bus. I completely understand that we could have solved this just like we did with the s'mores problem earlier in class. However, our goal for right now is to be able to write and solve a two-step equation. So that's what we're going to be working on. In example number two, Aaliyah had $24 to spend on seven pencils. After buying them, she had $10. So when everything was done, she was left with 10. That sounds like an equals number to me. So if we have $24 to start and we're spending it, so when we spend our money, we're going to be subtracting and we're buying seven pencils. Do we know how much the pencils cost? We don't. So it's going to be seven times X. And X is going to represent the cost of a pencil. So writing this out, we have 24 minus 7X equals the $10 remaining. Going ahead, dropping our line down, we are going to have 24 right here. We're gonna subtract the 24. That's gonna leave us with a negative 7x, please be careful that negative goes with the seven, equals a negative 14. Negative seven times x, so I'm gonna divide by negative seven. Matchy, matchy, 
matchy matchy. So x is equal to 2. Remembering x is the cost of a pencil, so we're going to say for our final answer, $2 per pencil. So far, have you had two examples written down in your notes completely? Example number three. Example number three. How old am I if 400 reduced by two times my age is 244? We don't know how old I am, so we're going to say X is my age. We're starting off with 400 and we're reducing it. Reducing would signal subtraction and we're doing two times my age. Well, times means times and we don't know my age. So we have X is 244, is signals equals, just like you would have said, two plus three is five. So is is an equal sign. So our equation kind of came to life right here in front of us. We have 400 minus two X equals 244. Dropping your line down, we're gonna subtract the 400. because That's our armadillo out front here. The negative goes with the two, which goes with the X. Those cancel, bring down your negative two X. And 244 minus 400 will give you negative 156. Divide through by the negative two because these are multiplied together. And we get that X is equal to 78. 78 represents an age, so we would say 78 years old. In example number four, Frank paid the local dog groomer $27 to get his dog an $18 dog bath and three additional services. Did you know that when you take your puppies to the groomers, they can get puppy tattoos, they're glitter tattoos. They can also get sprayed with special yummy smelling vanilla scent and they can have their ears cleaned and their nails clipped and all that kind of good stuff. So Frank paid $27, that's his total, which signals an equals number to me. The $18 dog bath he pays for and tells me that we're adding three services, but we don't know the cost of a service. So we're gonna call that X. And X is going to represent the cost of a service. So that's an additional service here. So we have our $18 dog bath plus the three times the cost of the service is equal to Frank's total of $27. Take a second, go ahead and solve this equation to tell me X equals how much are the, dog, are the extra services for Frank's puppy. First thing you would do is subtract that 18 off the front. So in doing that, you have a positive 3x is equal to 9. So we're going to divide by 3, and that would give me that x is equal to 3. This is a cost, so we're going to put a dollar sign with it per service. So that's our best answer there. Now, in comparison to that, Ashlyn took her puppy someplace else, and she paid $2.50 for each additional service for her dog. So who got the better deal, Frank who paid $3 per service or Ashlyn who only paid $2.50? Ashlyn got the better deal because she had the cheaper services for her dog. So that is it for your lesson then. Hopefully you wrote those two things down. What I'm going to ask you to work on for the remainder of class time is the IXL S5 to a smart score of 75. I will be grading this and it will be worth two points for you. And then I'm also going to ask you to work on yellow packet page number five. This is a maze. Um, you can show your work right on that page or if you need to, you're welcome to get scrap paper. Just make sure that you keep your scrap paper with your work for that one. And please document the, the, like, the way that you actually go around the maze. There are highlighters on my desk. You are welcome to use one of those if you would like to.